set up one uh, design that we have the S3 bucket and Lambda and one DynamoDB. So what I will do, I will put one CSV file in the S3 bucket and the moment S3 bucket get the CSV, it will trigger the event that will go to the Lambda and Lambda will take the data, read the data from CSV and push into the DynamoDB. So it will, this will be the flow. CSB, S3 bucket, Lambda, and the DynamoDB. As you have already seen in previous video, here you can see uh, the Lambda generate the logs into the Amazon CloudWatch, right? This is by default setting is there. So this Lambda is connected with S3 bucket, CloudWatch, and the DynamoDB. Hence, this your Lambda function should have three kind of permission. One permission for S3 access, second permission for the CloudWatch access and third permission for the DynamoDB. So let us start one by one to first we create the IM role, then the S3 bucket, then the Lambda, then uh, DynamoDB. In this uh, picture I have showed that I will configure the two different kind of S3 bucket. So first I will do the simple, then I will add one more bucket over here. So let us start and uh, first go the IM role and create one new role. This is for lambda. Need the permission. We have to add the three things. S3 full access, then CloudWatch full access, and DynamoDB full access. I'm giving the full access, but in the production, you can do according to your actual need of that. Right? Uh, I'm giving the one name, uh, just putting my name to uh, easily find out. And create it. Now go to the S3 and here we create one bucket. We know source create. Now two part has been done. Now you go with the lambda one. Now you can see this has been created. Now go to the lambda. I'm opening the separate tab and lambda do the create function. Choose this option author from scratch. Then the function name I can give uh, maybe we are going to use the Python here, Python 3.7. And this is the important feature permission. So we have to choose the permission that should have all the three. So we have just created one lambda db we know. You can take it and click on the create function. Now we have to configure our S3 to generate the triggers, right? So go click here, add trigger, choose S3 from here. And what is the bucket? Bucket is the Binod source, right? I want to generate the trigger on all the events. No need to do any prefix, suffix. And uh, now add. So everything is confirmed right now, okay. So now click here and this is our place where you will uh, read the code, right? So what I will do, I will JSON, I will add one more package, Bodo 3. This is for connecting between the all the Amazon services and the Python code, okay? And uh, let me do the code I have already. So it will be easy just for time saving purpose. So now you can see uh, this part was already there. So first I create the S3 client with the help of the Bodo 3 because we have to connect the S3. And the uh, source bucket name means from which bucket I am going to event the trigger. In my case, source bucket name would be the Binod source. So when you any event trigger, that event is a, is a JSON file, JSON structure. And they have in the event, we have the many records. So we have to choose the first record. 
inside that we have the s3 then the bucket the name so it will return back to the source bucket form where event is being generated and which file we are going to generate that file name will come and here is the uh, so this part once you done this part this is the file name only and that the file object would be have the actual object means what is the content of the file that file get it so just for uh, understanding purpose we are going to print also just we want to see what comes in the file object once we get the file object from the file object we get the content okay and uh, and content uh, and content is the student information i will put the student information and i will split information uh, because we have the many uh, rows so i will split on the row wise and i will print this information let us see how it works so now if uh, Anyhow, I will uh, give the code in the descriptions you can take from it and now we have to go and save it. Once you have done, then now this is the time for the testing. So what, how we do the test, go the S3 and in this uh, uh, source, we have to put the one text file. So I have one um, text file already, let me show, comma separated file we have. So let me for eg thing yeah let me open that so this is the csv file i have the row number name and the marks for the one two three four five uh, students record is there okay and now i am going to put upload this into the s3 the moment you upload this event to be triggered and it will hit the lambda now go to the lambda and it should suppose to uh, uh, generate the uh, it should uh, it should uh, suppose to print statement right how we can see go the monitor because all the log statement go for the cloud watch and go to the cloud watch here so whatever the print statement uh, we have given here in the code here is our code right all the print statements should be come into the cloud watch here is the cloud watch and you can see our lambda name we know the lambda db and this is the log so uh, you can see some error scheme right this error scheme uh, it was my intention to show the error uh, uh, so how we can debug those things it is saying that in line number 10 some issue is there right if you see the line number 10 it's some issue is there, right? It is line number 10, some issue is there. So go the code and see the line number, yes. Here API shows that it's need the one key. We have missed the key and key is the bucket. Bucket uh, we have uh, forgotten to put it here, right? Now we have to again save. So again, you have to go the S3 bucket and put the data and testing and might be some other box could become so for the easiness, we have the option for the test. No need to go here, there, just we can do the test here itself. How we can do? We can just go and choose the template. Yeah, S3 put, right? Because you're putting the some data in S3. And you have to give the bucket name also. So in this example, they have given, just put the your bucket name. Our bucket name is Binod. Source. And the file name I showed you, this was the file name, right? Uh, Students.csv, right? So here the key is the file name, student.csv. Let it be the example bucket, right? Put the Vinod, save it. And now if you do the test, so now you can see uh, after changing, uh, we are getting this, right? This output is coming. One, two, three, four output is coming, okay? So now my test setup is correct. Now we have to, if you see, we have getting the data with the comma separated. So those comma separated also we have to 
take it individually to put into database right so what i will do uh, take one for you for this student because each student has this data right if you uh, maximize this this is the one student information and the student informations okay so another student information so what i did i take the student information here and for each student i am splitting again with the help of the comma and generate the three things right so for time being wait some uh, remove some pretty statement we already understood what are the these things there and now save it and check whether i'm getting this data or not not test it so no need to go again as to you can test here it's our code so now we can see all the uh, data is coming right so now if everything fine go to the dynamo db and create one tables students table right so we came here dynamo db create one table give the name students i am giving one id as primary key of the partition key okay and if you see there are no items here no items now come here in the lambda function and add this information also right so again i will use the bodo to take the instance of the dynamo db so if you see i added here and also we have to inform which table you want to add right so here we can add the table name is yeah so my table name was student so i make it here now we have to insert the data in this table right so this code would be as it is we are printing here in even instead of the printing or we can directly put it here so this my table instance name is table student table in student table id as i put the data one and what is the data one data two so if you see this is the uh, data one 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 ten data two name and data three marks so what i will do i will put the id as a one and zero name is the one and marks is the two okay so this is our complete code what i'm showing here right now Right. now save it <clears throat> now when i test so those data should go there right so now click on the test and i assume those data should be come here if everything is fine see all the five we got came right now do one thing um in this file this student csv file open in the text pad and add some more ne name here for testing purpose right so now this time i will upload in the st and see how it works without going to the test so 160 demo and 87 this record should come right so i save it and go to the s3 bucket upload i'm uploading the same file so it will be the override and upload here upload here and i hope this is much trigger if you want to see trigger or not we can go here in the cloud watch and we can get the update logs it will show whether it updated or not and these are the logs it has been generated right so you can see uh, this has been logs game now go to the database and see whether it's updated or not just click here you can see new data came right this is how it works so now i have uh, made this uh, now where is my diagram is went okay not worry so my diagram is here let me explain so i have done this part from here s3 bucket working and came here and this part working now i'm going to add one more new bucket this time we will add in different way some so directly go to the s3 and here create one new bucket 
and put the bucket name anything we know the admission and this time we will uh, you remember that time we went here and configure as the trigger s3 now this time we will configure the lambda from the s3 itself so go to the bucket here go the properties go the event click here add notification give one name s3 csb choose all object event any object to take we have to send the lambda function and get the lambda db so before that i want to show if you see here click here you can see only one s3 is configured right in s3 now i am going to configure one more now if you come here it will show the two just you have to face it now you can see the two s3 has been configured now click here and you can see now there are the two s3 configured this time you configure from the s3 now for demo purpose uh, go to the admission bucket and update upload some files so i have some another student two yeah second this has the few data uh, let me show the data so this data is that uh, 1100 1200 1300 right let me upload this and check whether this data is going to uh, dynamo db or not so it has been uploaded here and directly we are going to dynamo db and check whether it came or not so see all the thousand one thousand two thousand three our data came right here so in this way that uh, we uh, uh, complete all the flow here thank you very much for watching this video uh, please subscribe to the channel to get many more videos on the data science in the aws thank you